Hey there guys, Mangerick here for the next Let's Make RPG Maker VX Ace. In this um, video, I'm going to be making the interior to one of these huts I put in the village. Obviously, as you can see, I put a couple more down inside the village just to add some more buildings. I also modified this map a little bit. I'm not going to go into the details. I just worked on it a little more after the video last time. And I added events that exit you to the world map wherever you can ac access the edge of the map. That way, you have a way to leave. Um, as you can see, I already made the inside of the player's house, of the um, of the main player main character's house. Um, it's a three bedroom house. This is where you and your brother sleep. This is where your little sister sleeps. That's spoiled brat. And here's where your dad sleeps. He has a um, queen or king size bed. I'm I'm assuming queen, because him and his wife used to sleep there. But the wife your mother the your father's wife died and here's the memorial for her I'm not going to go into too much detail about that because that could be a spoiler in the future I'm not deciding I haven't decided yet how I'll show um explain how she died and why she died but we'll go from there um as you can see I have events here all these events do is is preventing the player from walking on top of the ceiling as I have how I have it set up with the player we can go over here and walk underneath the ceiling tile as I'll show here. New game. Boom. So now you're in the house and you can walk under the tile. Woop woop. And the way you can tell where to walk is if you look on the ground, I place shadows. Well, I, I make sure shadows are in the right place to show where the door is and to not... And to not show the shadow where the door is and show the shadow where there is no door. Um, so you can see you can walk in right here, walk in right here, and right here. It's a pretty simple system. Um, all I did is I put the um, wall tile sheet on the E tab. Let's go to Tools, Database, Tile Sets, Interior, then E inside A4 is how I did it. Um, and I place that. Actually, wait, I forgot to show you. You have to then go to E and you have to put this, um, change that little icon to the stars on it. What that does is makes that tile appear over the character. If it's a circle, the character can walk over it. If it's the X, the player can't go to it at all. And if it's the star, the character can walk behind it. So that's how I got that to appear over the character. I also had to place it above there or else its head would appear because how RPG Maker VX Ace works is it offsets the player about four pixels off the grid. So the head is also about four pixels into the next line. It just makes it look a little more realistic, I guess. So I had to place it where the character would be walking and above it and place events that prevent the character from walking on the ceiling. Otherwise, the player will be able to roam wherever he wants on the ceiling and go wherever, which would it's not a game breaking bug, but it's just a it's something that should be caught now type of bug. Um Well it could be game breaking if they're able to get access I could say this room's locked and he's able to get into the room somehow with that, but I don't even see that happening. Um but yeah. Um as you see I use um like this sprite right here, this um bookshelf, this chair, and these barrels here and these windows they are all they're not from the um, default default texture pack they're actually a modified version of it. I forget exactly what the guy's name is that did it but I'll provide his link in the description um, yeah, it's the Mac set it's basically a modified version of the default textures and as I'll provide a download link in the description so you can find it yourself as I said before, I'm only going to be using um, um, assets that are available for free um, with the actual with the actual program through the resource packs through the official team. Those are the only two I'm going to be using. However, I'm allowing one exception for this guy's work because most of it is work that's already in the RTP. Just looks a little be looks a little better. Also, even some of the um, resource staff used a little bit of his um, work to. And modified it a little more, so I figured it's close enough integrated in for me to utilize it for this project. Um, 
just remember to always put um, these guys in your credits, credit them for their work. That's all you really need to do. As so long as it's not a paid one, then you just got just go look at the license for the item. Um, now make sure you're not doing anything you're not supposed to with it. Um, here's something that I, I built new from yesterday. This is actually a horse where your horses stay. Right now, your brother took the horse and the wagon to pick up the supplies. Obviously, he hasn't come back yet, so it's empty. I might make if I ever have it, the horse come back. I'll have an event to show a horse there. And then I'm just gonna leave it empty for now. But without further ado. Let's make a house. So you want to go to the village because the house will be within the village. Right click village and you're going to do new map or the insert button on the keyboard and name it whatever you want. Basic house. house. Interior tile, tile set and the smallest is because these are small houses and that's pretty much all you want for now. So here it is in all of its glory. First thing you want is to take the paintbrush tool and make it black. Simple enough. And use that kind of a wall on the outside. So because this person's poor, he's not able to afford to have any, anything other. And it just matches the style better. And just basically, what you want is to do the ceiling tile. You go into the um, A tab and you go down to the where A3 I believe would be placed walls and it has the wall and the ceiling tile the ceiling tile could be used for a lot of unique purpose purposes um, for now I'm just gonna be using it for that right there boom small little house nothing extravagant I'm gonna make a little this is one of the uses is it can be used as a divider within the house so there's a little divider right there this divider will actually you know what bring it down all the way and this is going to be how to walk into his bedroom now we want to select the floor tile you either select from these tiles up here or you can go down here and there's usually some more to select from down here these are kind of more destroyed type but these can also be used right here um, normally these be used if you're doing a cutaway method, which I am not doing, but I can, sh I can actually no, let me show you how that look looks real quick. Um, I actually like the look, but for this specific project, I'm not using it because I don't have the cutaways that I like. I would don't have the cut cutaways I would use. Like, let's say I use this for the floor tile. Boom, boom, and then you could place this down there. Basically, it's more it's a same thing as these right here. It's just. I don't know. Personally, I'm. I like it, but for this, I'm not. Use, I'm not gonna use it for this project. So let's find a floor tile. And that looks too good for him. This is always the pickiest part for me. Mm. Yeah, why not? I actually kind of like that. Kind of looks very basic. Um, so, whoops, wrong button. Well, not wrong, but wrong tool. That is where the door will be. And I'm just going to put it there so I, so I can get future reference for myself. Now, you go to the E tab, find this top, which is this one right here. Paint it over it. You also need to right click there, shift click to uh, actually, no. You do need to place that there anyway. So go ahead and just copy that, shift click it in to keep the sh maintain shadow, maintain everything else. And that will cover the character's head. However, you try walking in this right now, and he's going to be walk on the ceiling. As I did before, to avoid that, you take the character controller, or not character controller, what am I think? I'm thinking Unity right now. You take the event um, creator, just make a new event that's same as characters. This is what gives it the collision. You don't need anything else. Nothing will happen if you click this or anything. Copy it, paste it, boom. This is now you'll be able to walk underneath the ceiling tile, and you won't be able to walk on the ceiling. Now we're gonna have to create where the door brings the um, player in. So you want to select the carpet tile, floor tiling, and boom. That's how I usually do it. Just bring it out one square, and it's obvious where you want to come in and out from. 
Now, before I touch any of the other layers other than that square right there, I want to place where the kitchen's going to be and other miscellaneous details such as that. The kitchen tile, this is a common one for kitchen. There's a small kitchen right there. Did you know it? Yeah, yeah I liked it earlier. Um, little kitchen table to eat at. You know what? That's too fancy for him. He needs to have a circular table. So that's all the layer one that I want to place. So you want to go just play around between all your extra tile sets that you have. B and C are, are I have selected the, the default B and C. The D is the ones for the Mac set, and E is as I showed earlier the walls. Um. So let me go ahead and find the ways to decorate this. First, I'm gonna work on the kitchen. Obviously, the kitchen needs a sink. So place a sink. Cutting board, stove. Those are the ba the most basic things you can have. You could replace the cutting board with the basic counter, but that just removes detail and de and I can't do what people want. You have to replace the counter right there, just for the sake of having it there to covering up the entirety of the kitchen tile. Um, now you'll want some place for him to actually eat at. So where is it? I know it's here. There's a little circular table. Am I just passing it? Oh yeah, here it is. Little circular table. And boom, boom. Place to eat. Now, what are they going to do on their fr um, spare time when they're inside their house? They need something to do. Or just random decorations in their main house. But actually, let me go to the let me switch to the bedroom. Person poor using poor bed. Boom. Single bed. Single family. Single person, I guess. Um, actually, they also have windows. You need to place windows. I like the windows from the Mac set. They show light coming in. And I just really like the look of it. Is this the one? Let me double check. No. This is it. So I'm going to place the window. I like putting the window over the sink because that's where some typically go. Mm. Over the table and over the bed. Those are places I usually like to put windows, just because it looks better that way. Um, give him a little dresser for his clothes. Yeah. And now at this part, you just want to kind of decorate. Um, keep in mind the 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 fact of who's going to be in there. If they're going to be someone who doesn't have a lot of money, you obviously don't want something that looks like someone with money does have. Um, for example, let me find a good item. Um, actually, there's a perfect example C tab right here. Little box with jewelry spewing out. If they're poor, they're not going to have a lot of jewelry, so you don't want something along the lines of that. I'm not saying you can't give them like a single sack of gold or money. But it's probably not a good idea. You want to try to keep it with a, say, um, simple theme. Um, let's see here. No, let's give him a chair in his little living room area. Um, D's the only one with an actual legitimate chair. Mm. Yeah, let's go with this chair. Boom. Give him a nice little chair. Um, and this is a very small area. There's not much you can do with it. However, the wall is a little plain. So I'm going to find a little something to put there. Um, there's, um, where are they? Little shelves you can hang from, like right here. Um, cooking supplies. He doesn't have an actual cabinet for cooking supplies. So... I don't want over the stove because the stove can catch fire. Catch it fire. So right there, there's where, there's where he stores his food, and he just grabs his food off the shelves. It looks like pickles, a jar full of stuff, and wine is what I think I gave him. I don't know. It, it just it just seems like it flows right. Um, if you want them to get him a little more decor um, decorative. You can add these little curtain things. You don't want to give them fancy ones because that'd be more so for like a castle or something. And 
Like if you put another tile in between, you can put like a picture in there. You have a nice little fancy looking area. Um, yeah, that works. Just a little picture hanging above. Um, and just look at your options. You could also give him a rug. I should guess it's already a rug, but like I said, I want to give him that rug right there. Like I say, it's his area rug right there. Boom. However, you want a rug over the carpet. You don't want the carpet to be, the current flooring to be affected. So, um, I'm going to put this right here. Hold shift, right click, box it in. Still holding shift, click it. It basically copies exactly that over exactly this. So it doesn't affect anything around it. That's one way to avoid auto shadows. We can put this here, and it does not change the auto shadow. While if I regular left click, you can see the auto sh um, shadows change. The little nifty trick that I picked up. Um, yeah, that looks about it for this room, actually. Um, there's not much more I can add. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make it so then the player can go and look into the little drawer here. So you want to add a little event that's on the same as character, just for the sake of being same as character. You don't want a graphic because the graphics are already there, and you want to make sure it stays on. Sorry if I move the window. I'm gonna keep it here for now. Keep on action button. So then if the player comes up to it and presses space bar or enter. Um, they'll activate it. So in the contents, let's see. Okay, assuming that you want the player to find gold in there, like say five gold, something simple like that. First thing you do is let's let's show text. And let's say you found five G or whatever currency you have. It's like Gil from Final Fantasy G I L, but whatever. You found five G. Do 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 do. You press OK. Actually, I should show this. If you hit preview, you can see the preview of it, so you know exactly how it'll look like. I kind of just want to add. Boom. Actually, like, actually, no, I won't end in it, but I'll have one enter in there just so it brings it down a little bit. This, that's how I did tell if the player know. Hey, this isn't just a regular whatever um, speech. It's hey, you found something. Take a look at me with that extra space there. Just, it, just changing up how that message box looks, in my opinion, piques the interest of the player. If it's the same thing over and over again, they're not going to find anything more interesting. And then, after that, they'll click away that text box, and then you'll come over here, and let's find it. Um, change gold. Increase, constant, 5. You can make it by variable, but since we already know it's 5 gold, we make it constant plus five. Now, if we just left it at this, the player can keep on activating and get five more gold, five more gold, five more gold, and we don't want that. So, how I'm going to affect this is I'm going to go in there and go to game progression, control self switch A on. So now the A self switch will be on. Create new event page, self switch A. And just for the sake of, so the game doesn't keep checking if you're coming here for nothing, you erase event. So then the event no longer does anything. Or, if you don't want to be that and be boring, you go in here and go to show text. And the text say, just some old man's um, underwear drawer. Whatever you want it to say. Preview it, make sure it shows correctly. Boom. And every time you. And once again, priority, same as character or else it won't work. Now, every time you come to it, after you find the initial five gold, which, come to think of it, the player just found five gold in the old man's underwear drawer. I personally wouldn't want to touch the five gold, but let the player do what the player does. <laughs> but yeah, there's his underwear drawer, and there's the five gold you can find in there. Now. And now, um, how to get the player in and out? All you do is with the event, right click, click event creation, transfer, find where you want to transfer, which would obviously be the village. This is going to be this house, just I don't know why, I'm just going to make it that house. 
boom, and the only way he comes out is facing down, so I can keep it retra as, um, retained and he'll be facing downward. Now I'll allow the player to enter here. You come in here, quick event creation, door, you select the door graphic, which I'm just going to use the basic door, actually, no, is there, yeah, I'm going to use the basic door graphic, boom. Okay, oh yeah, probably should have modified where it takes you, so go trans under the transfer player, if you forget or you want to modify where it is, it's just right there where it says transfer player. And then you go to place, and you go to basic house, and you want to select, you can either select here and then write new, um, another line after it to move the player forward one space. That makes it look more fancy and all that, but for now I'm just going to right there, direction retain, apply, done. So now if we were to game test this and go to that room that we had just made, start game, go down the stairs. Leave the house. Come to this little villa, this little hut we made. Boom, we're inside the little house. Oh! What do we have here? You can't walk on the ceilings, but you're walking over that. We'll have to fix that. But before we fix that, this is going to just team test this. You found five gold. Just some old man's underwear drawer. Boom. So, let's fix that. What's going on? I probably accidentally er overrided this with um, one of these over there earlier when I was modifying things. So, I'm going to go back to E, select that, shift, click, click. That's all you should be able to need to do to fix it. Control S to save, demo it. I probably should have saved it just so I can be straight in there, but I'm going to walk all the way back from my house. Oh well, I like walking, it's a workout. Well, I'm really just working out my fingers, but whatever. I'm lazy like that. You come in here, go into the hut, and it's still doing it. Hmm. Interesting. So I'm going to erase that, erase that, erase that, erase that. Place this. Oh, I know what's going on now. What's happening is, um, here, let me go ahead and place this right here. Just to make it look right. Shift, right, shift, a uh, shift, click, click. Should I just use this one? No. Yeah, that'd be the best one to use. Use on the entire wall. Shadow's still there because you shift click. Um, and what's happening is under the um, tile set, E, I only have this one as going over. I forgot to set that one to go over the character. So now if I were to play test it and come over. Obviously, I'm not making a tutorial series, but I am also. If you don't know what I'm doing in this list make, I'm also just trying to show you how I do my th how I do things. Now you can't walk over it. Damn, I keep on forgetting to save it. Oh well, or yes, make a save state. Ah, I know, I know why you can't go over it. Now you take the carpet. Boom. Copy this, boom, boom. There. Let's just make sure that's displaying correctly. Boom, and I'm also making sure to make the shadow there so the player knows where they can enter the room. The biggest thing about the whole shadowing is staying consistent and trying to modify it only at the very end. Because right now in the bully fest should work this time because it's just being weird like that. It should work this time, but if it doesn't, oh well. Voila, it works. And you can't walk on the ceiling either. 
test the collision with everything else, make sure everything else works smoothly. Oh yeah, that's something I didn't fix. That's why I have an event over on the other building. Boom. And the chair. Actually, you know what? I want the player to be able to go over the chair. Actually, you know what? I only want um, NPCs to be able to go over the chair, so I won't let the player go onto the chair. It doesn't look right right now. So, easiest way to solve that is just with an event. Same as characters apply. Copy, same way as I did right here. But it's on those now. Another way to fix it is to find it under the database tile sets. These are both of them are under D. There's the chairs. And where is the plant? Here's the plant. Boom, boom. So actually I just fixed this so I can get rid of those tiles, those events. Those are both the two different ways to say, fix it. But anyways, this is how I make the interior of a building. I hope you like it, and I hope you um, like the rest of my Let's Make. Feel free to like and subscribe. This is Main Trick, and I'm out.